Let's uh, show all products. I don't think we need to go through the whole mechanism here. Let's just show all the products. Oh, okay, you always need like, can you do it? I believe so. Because we need a we radical need initiator. Side. Maybe there might be other radical initiators. In the book, they're using light. There might be other radical initiators. But and the if book. we would have to show the mechanism, it's just the radical mechanism? It's just the similar mechanism I just have on the board, yeah. Maybe we should have shown the back. So um, what's the first step in the mechanism? Well, we know the NBS is going to be a source of BR2. Oh, never mind. So our initiation step looks like this. Then the BR radical. Now, what's the BR radical going to do? It's going to take a hydrogen. And I think you guys saw that it wants to take an allylic hydrogen. It doesn't really matter which allylic hydrogen it takes. They're all really symmetrical with each other. So we can take any of the allylic hydrogens. give us this. That's propagation, step one. We need to do resonance. Then we attack, the radical attacks another BR2. showed the wedges and the dashes here. So we would expect one attack on a wedge and one attack on a dash. This is not meso, so these are two different products. Uh, but what's the one big thing I've left out so far? Resonance. Yeah. Incidentally, I think one of you might have left out the pi bond here. I think one of you dro dropped the double bond. But the double bond is not disappearing. The oh, double bond still appears in the product. Notice that the double bond isn't really participating in the reaction. It's just stabilizing the radical through resonance. Uh, remember that the bromine doesn't attack the double bond. It's attacking the allylic carbon, not the alkene carbon. So this double bond still exists. The double bond would be gone if we just done a normal electrophilic addition, like we did last term. But we're not doing that because of the NBS. So the double bond is still here. Now I'm going to use electron pushing arrows to show the other resonance structure here. Here's the electron pushing arrows that help us to show the other resonance structure. Now the double bond is up here, and the unpaired electron is down here, and these are definitely not equivalent to each other. There's a big difference in these two cases. Like I said, you didn't have to go through the whole mechanism here. If you want to do a shortcut, 
just draw the radical form of the substrate and all of its resonance structures. An acceptable shortcut would be just to draw the radical form, but you don't want to skip drawing this radical because then you can't find the resonance structures. So you should at least draw the form, the radical form, so you should at least draw these two pictures here so you can see where the bromine is going to end up. And that gives us a different propagation step. Where this radical And uh, I suppose this is a stereo center too. So I suppose we should put this on either a wedge or a dash as well. So we really get these four products. Um, some instructors care a lot about the stereochemistry here and some don't, but they all care about the regiochemistry. The most important thing here is the regiochemistry to see that there's more than one place that the bromine can end up in. So the most important thing not to skip is these two pictures. Draw what it looks like after it turns into a radical, and then draw the other resonance structure. And then you can see the possible places that the bromine could end up attached. So the main way this is tested is, again, draw all possible products and making sure you can use the resonance structures to do that. OK, good. So we finished chapter 14? Pretty much. Um, yeah. Actually, now that I look at it, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's also a little bit about SN1 and SN2 reactions yeah, in this. We, we but they're not that much different. The main big difference is, again, you can't do an SN1 with a normal primary carbocation, but you can do an SN1 with an allylic primary carbocation. That, that's the main difference. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.